cage you here and reach through here. So where the uh, rusty pipe hallway is going to be. So you watching vlog videos for Steve's uh, haunted yard, Brady? Yeah? Can you say hi to the, the camera? Uh, say, one say hi. Hi. Anyway, say happy Halloween. Welcome everybody to another Halloween Room production. I'm actually uh, heading out here to, uh, I'm going to try and attempt to go down and grab the bush costume that I haven't brought in from uh, the house. I'm going to show you guys, uh, oh careful, I'm going to show you guys how it's made because I know everybody's been asking about it. So. Um, I'm going to grab it here real quick, take it upstairs, since I can't vlog and carry a big-ass costume. Um, All right, so I grabbed the costume, but like an idiot, because I wasn't really planning this out. Um, the bucket that you stand in, the headpiece, and the gloves are all in my wife's car. And she's not here right now, so I can't grab them out of the car. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lay out uh, the... Uh, costume right here and then um, just go through it in detail so you guys can see how it's made and then kind of give you an idea of what I use to, to get to, to get this costume. All right so here's the full costume laid out. Um, as you can see all I used was pieces of ivy. Um, I went online and found discount ivy online six foot lengths of it and I bought them for about 50 cents a length. I do not know how many pieces I used, um, but I uh, went and found all that stuff online. I also got a jumpsuit. This is a military jumpsuit. Um, this jumpsuit obviously is, as you can see right here, it's camouflaged. Um, I think I paid like $30. Paid like $30 for it. So, I mean, that coupled with the ivy, um, I think all together probably, I don't know, $400 maybe in materials, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of ivy on there. It might be less. I don't really know for sure. Um, my sister ended up sewing it all on there. Now I'm going to show you how that how we did that. <clears throat> so I don't know if you can see it, and you probably can't see it on here. So let me, uh, there's one mark right there. We took yarn and basically took the six-foot we took yarn and we used the six foot pieces um, that were pre-folded up. So they look like this, already bunched. So you can see that it's bunched right there. And then we just laid them out and sewed them on in three places with, with some heavy duty yarn. Um, it's held up pretty good. Um, however, you can see, like right here, the pieces fall off where the well-maneuvered body parts are. I mean, it's, it's going on its third season now and I have not repaired it yet. Um, but it's very simple. So basically, just to recap how we did this so that the people that were really intrigued about how this suit was put together know, um, all we did was took the six foot, or the three, I'm sorry, one foot sections. Uh, you know what? I might have one over here. I know I do. I do. Okay. So see this? This is one of the sections that it came at, in as. Um, so all we did was took this, and so you guys can see here. We took and sewed it right here, right here, and right here onto the suit. And then laid another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. And then we went back through after we were done, because it looked like basically like a suit. And we put these pieces on that stick out. Um, ultimately, what I wanted to do was find really like some really uh, flowing silk leaves. Uh, but I couldn't find any of those that were in the price range I was looking to spend on this costume. Um, but that's it. I mean, it's a very simple, simple suit. Um, and it works awesome. Uh, as you guys have probably seen the videos in the past, and I'll put some notes and annotations down below. But um, so that's it. It's, it's very easy to make. It's time consuming, but easy to make. Um, and I have actually another way and I, I'm not going to release the link that I found 
to make this suit really quick and easy. I've got a bunch of ivy coming um, and in hopes that it works. Um, and it was like a third the price of what I paid for this um, materials for this costume. So if that works out, oh, I'm gonna be super excited. So uh, with that being said, I think I'm going to uh, move on to the next thing and show you how I store this costume. Um, because ideally what I used to do was what I used to do was just hang it on a hanger and put it away. Well, obviously, as you can see, it's just, I can't do that given the space that I have. So I'm going to store it in a tote. So storing it in a tote is super easy. And this is how I fold it up and set it away uh, in, in for the next season or when Bushy comes out to scare people in town. So, okay, so we're back here and this is our, this is our, oops. There we go. This is the suit, okay? So basically what I do is when I have the uh, headpiece and the gloves, I stick them inside here. So I just put them inside there and fold this up and zip it up. Then I take each arm, as you can see here, arm, fold the arm in. It's just like folding up anything else. I come around to the other side here, grab this arm, fold this arm in. And then I just take each leg and fold the legs up like this. Uh, other leg up. So it becomes a, oop, a little wiener hanging out there. Um, so it becomes a ball. That is the bushy costume storing and how it's made in a nutshell. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, put them in the links below. And always uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time, guys. Take care, have a good Halloween, and I'll show you some hot Halloween shit later.